Our second example here, let's say we have the following events for, the, for two coin flips. So I have event A, which is at least one head is obtained. So if we write out that, those outcomes, that means the first one's a head and the second is tails. The first one's tails, the second is heads, at least one. So we could have two heads. And then let's say event B, I'll write B up here, B is that both tails are obtained. So in other words, B is T and T. Are A and B mutually exclusive events? So using that definition of mutually exclusive, we're trying to see, do they share any outcomes in common? And looking at this, they don't share any outcomes in common, so our answer is yes. Now the second question, are A and B independent events? We can actually answer this yes or no without even having to calculate any probabilities whatsoever. Because I know A and B are mutually exclusive events, we know when talking about mutually exclusive events versus independent events, mutually exclusive events are not independent events. So automatically, because the first question is yes, I know they are dependent events, not independent events. Are A and B complementary events? Okay, to answer this, let's try and find our sample space. So flipping two tosses of a coin, so two coin flips. We have HH, HT, TH, and TT. Those are my total possible outcomes, right? Well, TT, we saw was event B. These three outcomes here we saw represented event A. So everything, so A here represents also not B, or B complement, because everything in the sample space that isn't in event B is in event A. Similarly, event B also represents not A, or A complement, because everything in the sample space that isn't in B is automatically in A and vice versa. So the answer here is yes. They are complementary events.